We're going to start a new segment called Stay Heated or Chill Out. This is where we can get to talk about things that really grind our gears. And, and then we'll talk about whether or not they should chill out or just, you know, or stay heated. You know, there's some things that are really important, you know, but there's also some things that maybe you just, I don't know, care a little too much about. All right. Um, so when I think about this, we're going to go ahead and do stay heated or chill out. When I think about this, of all people I can think of that probably gets their gears ground the most, and I might need to tell them to chill out more than I say stay heated. It's going to be Greg, so I'm going to go to you. Seems like you got some uh, some things to um, to cover there, Greg. Um, now, we're not going to make this like a three-hour therapy session or anything, but have at it, man. Go ahead. And- yeah, I don't want to make anybody mad. <laughs> <laughs> come on. Come on. What you got, uh, Greg? I think we were talking about having the right tools for the job, right? You do have to have the right tools for the job. But, I, you know, let's be real. One of my pet peeves is, is, is it's about heat pumps. And the degree flex, it's, I can go back to that inverter voodoo thing that they think it's magically a whole new system. So I just, it just kind of grinds my gears a little bit that it's still a heat pump. So the way you wire that heat pump, the way you wire auxiliary heat, it ain't any different than any other heat pump out there. And we get phone calls in and guys ask questions about the wiring to it, and it's really not any different than any other heat pump I've ever hooked up. The only difference to it is we have a D terminal on the indoor unit that we're allowed that gives us one ability that I've never seen another heat pump do which is when it goes into defrost, we can send that defrost signal from the outdoor unit to the indoor unit, shut down the blower, provided electric heat, not on, so that we're not blowing cold air while we're in defrost, because defrost is actually units running in cooling mode. Now, just to clarify, if you're not that familiar with the Flex, it is the 24 volt product. So it's controlled by 24 volts. Anyway, but it's not any different than any other heat, you know, 24 volt driven heat pump. The point, the, the GREE flex is to replace unitary product. Correct. It is a one-to-one system. It is 24 volt hookup. It doesn't wire any different than any other heat pump out there. The only difference is that we have the ability to shut down the blower during defrost provided we're not bringing on electric heat. Right. So it just, I get uh, my stuff says a little bit of a pet peeve of mine. It's like, it's not new. It, it's, it's, it's new in the condenser as far as inverter technology and how well that unit you know, heats in heating mode, but wiring of it is no different than any other heat pump. So I'm, in a way I kind of, I say it's kind of a pet peeve of mine, but more of it's just, you know, getting the word out there to, to people understand that it's not any different than any other heat pump. Other than the fact, as far as wiring goes, it is different than any other heat pump out there because it's got, it has exceptional heating capability. So since we're about throwing people under the bus, I'll throw James under the bus. I think he's got a, a little pet peeve himself <laughs> about everybody trying to make the multi pro flexion. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. That's what we're going to do then. All right. Well, yeah. So, um, okay. So when it comes to the flex system, right, it is an inverted driven system, uh, but there's a handful of features that people have requested that uh like a variable speed blower with multi-tap and all that um among other things uh being able to do multiple zones on it being able to put a wall mount on it just all kinds of stuff you know that we get requested and I, i'm trying to not get really worked up but uh, we currently offer that and it is a multi-pro system you know that gives you exceptional heating performance much better than the flex if you choose an ultra heat um, it gives you a fully variable speed motor uh, five speeds plus a turbo speed. Uh, you can use up to 10 indoor units on it. Um, it is a communicating system, but you can actually get the actual true zoning out of it, you know. Uh, so if you're wanting to use a flex and then you start adding a zoning damper kit and trying to figure out a way with like relays to speed up and slow down the blower and all kinds of other stuff, you could save a lot of time and energy and money uh, using a multi-pro instead. I'm just going to leave it at that. Um, <laughs> I feel like well, we would have to have an after-hour show if I if I keep going. But <laughs> go ahead. 
Well, would, well, James, I would never throw you under the bus without being able to add on to it. Oh, yeah, that's true. So right behind us, and this is kind of a little plug for the next couple Tech 90s coming up, if you're not familiar, so this is the new Grief dual fuel coil. So along with the one thing we can step one further further than the flex, we well, the flex you can do dual fuel now. Correct. But the flex cannot do dual fuel and have a wall mount or cassette. That's coming. So the next couple of Tech 90s are going to be talking about our new dual fuel coil option with MultiPro. So, so you're yeah. telling me that we'll be able to have 100% heating down to minus 22, but also has a have a gas furnace backup? Yes, yes sir. sir. <laughs> oh, we can save money in the summer and the winter? Yes, sir. <laughs> All right. well, that's the limit to my salesy stuff today. Uh, <laughs> well, personally, I, I feel that James just needs to chill out. Okay. All right. <laughs> but I get to stay heated. But Greg, he gets to stay heated because I, I've had a lot of calls about 24 volt control of uh, uh, hookup um, in tech support. And it honestly, it surprised me because, you know, I always gave people the benefit of the doubt. It's an inverter system. It's communicating. A lot of guys aren't familiar with it or haven't seen it yet, or they just walked up to their first inverter system and they're a little confused. But when people call me on the 24 volt control hookup, it makes me think about what what is happening to training. Like for me, that's a, a something you should get in in technical school. I agree with you. Um, that should be one of the first things. Now, I I didn't learn that specifically in technical school because I already knew it because I was taught a, a right. lot of a great deal before I went to technical school. But it's a little bit confusing to me. So I think you can stay heated on that. But tying in an electric heat and, and a flex heat pump is no different than tying in a electric air handler with any other heat pump. And uh, but uh, you're right. That is one. That is that is something you should be learning in trades. Yes. Yes. How certainly. auxiliary heat works. How emergency heat works. How the heat pump works. All that ties together and should be and it should right. be wired properly. That should be taught in tech school. Yeah. I it, exactly. So. One thing to note, it you know, a very valid question is O or B on the GRI. B is GRI. That's right. B is GRI. So we energize in heat mode. Reverse valve energizes in heat mode on the GRI unit. I gotcha. So what terminal it energizes uh, on a multi pro? On a multi pro? Yeah. Depends. <laughs> Right. The dual fuel coil, it's going it's to gonna be B. Be B. <laughs> hey, how about that? Uh, right. Well, okay, so I'm supposed to remind everybody to, uh, they can submit a vote to either stay heated or chill out. We'll just leave that on Greg's thing, you know, uh, talking about wire <laughs> heat pumps. So if you think that Greg should just chill out, go ahead and vote. If you think he should stay heated, now we're, now we're going to take a look at the results from the stay heated or chilled out segment and uh let's see what that is i mean i voted to stay heated jesus said stay heated and uh daniel also said that greg should stay heated about 24 volt wiring on a flex system right all right it's obviously a really important thing it looks like we got how many how many fires are we going to have on there <laughs> <laughs> all right looks like we got four flames we got all the burners going, so uh, he's really heated. You'll never get a chill from me. 